Hi, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to see what I have now? August is going to be my anniversary of traveling in a van for five years. One of the things that I have been missing during that time frame has been an oven. So I came to discover a oven that is out there and it is perfect when you are in a small space like this, in a van, maybe on a boat, or even out camping in a tent. So what I discovered and decided to give a try is something called the Omnia Oven. It is from Sweden and is a design that they came up with and I just can't wait to give it a try. And I got all the accessories that comes along with it because I really wanted to be able to make sure I could use it for many, many different uh, ways and recipes and just really have a lot of fun with it. So we're just going to dive right in. We're going to look at it and all the accessories and it's a little bit of a show and tell. And definitely if you have one of these, um, put a comment below and let me know and Tell me about your experience with it, and do you love it? And if you're new to it, well, we're going to discover that together. All right, are you ready? All right, so here we go. Let's go open it up, and I'm looking at it for the first time with you all because I wanted to wait. I just really did. I wanted to share it with you all, but I am so excited to get an oven again. Now, I did buy their... Uh, other different kind of carrying bag but it it does come with a carrying bag as well uh, it's it's a little bit more like a you know kind of that little pouch style with the drawstring but you'll see I got a different one that I think will work out better to be able to put all the accessories in with it all right so it has a bottom plate, it's like your burner plate, and that's what this is. So you set that on your burner, and then this is your baking one here. And so this is going to sit on top of there, okay? And then there's the lid, and I guess you have to put the maybe the little knob on so maybe I'll do that and then come on back here's your lid all right so I got the uh, I got the knob on and when you lift this up you want to be careful to uh, always use a pot holder this is a aluminum material but I have silicone inserts that I'm going to go over especially with those like me who I really don't like to cook with aluminum, I'm being honest, but because my food isn't actually going to be touching inside of it, uh, because of the silicone inserts that I have that I'm going to go over with you, so I'm okay with this particular design. So other than that, that's the only thing I was like, I don't know, but because of those inserts, I'm, I'm okay with this. So we'll get extremely hot lift it up away from you and always use a pot holder okay it's got little vent holes if as you can see on the lid the design is is shaped kind of like a circle with a hole in the middle so basically the heat comes up from the bottom through here hits the top and then Imagine it kind of comes up and circles out and around and so that's how come it evenly cooks all the way around it because of the heat evenly distributed up through the center 
and kind of like funneling out all the way around it. So that's basically the design and how it cooks the food, okay? Let's look at the inserts. So this is the silicone insert. It does come with the single one or you can get the double one. I ended up getting the double one. And the reason why I did that was so that I can have one for all kind of savory items and another one that I can use just for baking, okay? So basically you take your silicone insert and you just stick it inside and then you put your food inside here. Okay, so we're going to switch this one out and we'll stick in the red one and there we go. So we have one for savory dishes and one for pastry dishes because uh, I heard sometimes the um, ingredients can get a little bit absorbed into here, especially food versus sweet items is why you want to have at least a different one. Okay, and this is the other one that I got. And this one here is designed for muffins and things. And you can make all kinds of fun muffins. And I'm gluten-free, so hmm. This is going to be really interesting me with me trying to be creative with uh, gluten-free blends of flours and stuff like that. But that's what I really want to play around with and see if I can get the texture and everything to come out uh, using this with gluten-free uh, blends of flowers and things. So stay tuned for that one if you're gluten-free. Uh, but as far as any other kind of pre-box mixtures and things like that, uh, you can do cornbread. I've, I've seen people put them inside the inserts. Comes out great. Um, yeah, I, I heard the only thing that might be a little bit of a struggle might be with trying to cook cookies in here, okay? But stay tuned if I ever decide to, to play around with any kind of cookies. One other thing I want to mention that I noticed is inside the box that has the silicone muffin insert has a little cookbook in here. Well, that's cool. It's free. And it has it in um, Sweden in the beginning, but if you keep opening it up, it does have some recipes in here that are in English. Bacon and egg muffin, feta cheese muffin, chocolate peanut butter muffin, summer berry muffins. Okay, so it looks like it's a couple, so maybe four. Oh, no more. Strawberry, or summer, sorry, berry muffins, chocolate peanut muff, butter muffins, bacon and egg muffins. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, so you get a little cookbook. How about that? <laughs> okay, and the last thing that I ended up getting as far as an accessory is a, it's a baking rack. So again, you could put that in there. Put your item right on top of this. I'm actually kind of curious if I could end up putting, I don't know if it'll fit, but let's try it out. We're, we're exploring this together. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I will fit. Because I they say that it's much easier to clean this um, than it is the original aluminum pan. But yeah, that rack fits right in there as well if you want to try that. I may try it like that. Oh, well, that's my idea. Stay tuned on that one. We got a lot of discovery ahead of us. Okay, if you notice on this, there is no temperature gauge. So I did see a video where a guy explains how to add a type of temperature gauge to this and also I'm a part of a Facebook group and they go over the same thing that you can just get a grill a temperature gauge and you can insert this into the lid and I'm going to be doing a video going over that but all you're going to do is drill another hole I'm not going to drill out one of these holes, existing holes, because I know in their design 
they have this plan oops <laughs> they have this planned out you know in their design of how many holes obviously it should probably have and I just don't want to mess with that or have it affect you know anything to do with the cooking with it so all you do is uh, get a drill bit that you know you can drill through uh, metal and I'm going to make a hole a lot of these come with a little wing nut and so all you're going to do is drill your hole big enough to get this inside and you want it to basically go straight in okay and it's small so it won't interfere with going down into your food or anything if you think about it and then all you do is just secure that in the back after you drill your hole and you're good to go on having a temperature gauge for your oven so stay tuned for that upcoming video when I actually uh, show you how to do this the last thing is to go over the carrying bag that I ended up getting and I just felt that it was pretty <laughs> I like the color also I sometimes in this van have trouble finding things that seem to be in black uh, because we can have a tendency to be a little bit darker at times in here especially in the evenings trying to get enough light going on in here so I always try as much as possible to get covers that are not black so that's another advantage of this one so this is designed for everything to fit inside here and they nestle inside of each other so that is the one advantage about this so you put your plate at the bottom your baking thing on top and then all of your inserts all go inside of this so I'm going to try to do this so the two silicone inserts I'm going to try the okay probably the rack and then this yay <laughs> yeah so look at that that's perfect okay so that's definitely the order and then the lid on top and then you zip it up and we are ready to have it stored very neatly nicely tucked away in your small vehicle that you are traveling in isn't that cool all right so i hope you enjoyed this video with my omnia oven stay tuned to that next one when we add this temperature gauge to the lid and then upcoming future ones as i play around with different recipes I did see a really yummy one that this girl made with doing nachos in here. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh my God, that looks so amazing. So stay tuned for that and put your comments down below. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. And I look forward to seeing you in that next video.